Hi witches, blessed be you. This is Y Raven over here. Today's Monday, so happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. I am so excited to share this video with you. So happy. This is one of my most favorite spells and it's so simple and it's a curse and it's delicious. You're gonna love it, love it. But first, if you are new to the coven and you're visiting me today for the first time, welcome to the coven. Please make sure you like my video and you subscribe to my channel so you can get all my notifications. I've been sharing videos with you guys for about since 2013, every Monday. I try to do every Monday, sometimes more than once a week. So please stay tuned, give it a like, all right? If you're part of the coven, I love you pretties and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. Thank you so much for the love for my last video. I really appreciate it. I really hope this worked for you guys. And I'm very confident sharing curses with you guys because I think that sometimes curses are not necessarily evil. All right, some people need to taste their own medicine. Some people need to learn lessons in this life and we have to keep people, you know what, in a very short leash sometimes because otherwise they abuse you in the same way they dare to abuse you, they abuse other people. And we have the way to protect ourselves and defend ourselves. There's a lot of innocent people out there that don't know how to protect themselves, okay? So today we're going to be sharing... I love this spell so much. We're going to learn how to send night terrors to somebody that has abused you. You guys know that I work in a customer service business, okay? Uh, how many of you guys, how many times have I seen in my life, in the years, in the 16 years that I've been working with client, with the public, with customers, how many times have I seen customers abusing, disrespecting, humiliating my coworkers? Either they call you a thief, they call you a liar, they don't want to work with you because you don't speak English very well, or because the race you are, or because you're gay. I have seen all that. I have people calling me a liar. I have people calling me a thief, insult me. I have seen people foaming in their mouth over things that I have nothing to do with. I have so many times men treating me like if I was a bag of trash for no reason whatsoever. Uh, but no, 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 no. This is not the way we treat White Raven. This is not the way you treat a witch. This is not the way you treat anybody, as a matter of fact. So you know what? I don't know you. I don't know your name. I don't know where you live. But you know what? I'm going to get even because I'm a witch and I can. And this is so easy, witches. So, so, so easy. So easy. You're going to need a black candle, okay? A black candle. Another thing that you're going to do, you're going to need this oil. It looks really thick right now because I mix this with castor oil. Castor oil is a very thick oil. Uh, and this spell calls for an oil that is called devil's oil. I search high and low, in and out. I have searched for the recipe of that oil for a very long time and it's nowhere to be found. And I found it really strange because trust me when I tell you, I have so many books like big books over here in my house and a lot of books in my kindle i have lots of books a lot of pdf books i have lots of books antique books new books you name it i have everything and i cannot get in touch with this recipe so i texted some friends i emailed some other friends and some of them knew nothing about the oil some other ones gave me some kind of recipes that I don't know, it was too confusing and too, it just did not sit well with me. It's like, you know what, I've done this spell with these other oils, so I'm going to do it with that oil and I'm going to share this with you. This is just a hex oil, it's to put a hex on somebody, very simple, and it's called Hell's Devil's Oil, all right? There's a lot of devil's oils out there, black devil's oil, flying devil's oil, green devil's oil. And then they're all, all used for different things. So please pay attention because they are used for different purposes. So the one that I'm sharing with you today is Hell's 
devil's oil, okay? For that, you're going to need capsicum. So you will say, well, what the hell is capsicum, white raven? That sounds kind of like, the hell is that? It's peppers, peppers. If you go to Google right now and you put capsicum and a Google search bar, it's going to give you all the pictures of all the peppers. Bell peppers, green peppers, chili peppers, jalapeno peppers, serrano peppers, all the peppers in the world are called capsicum. So you can go online and you can go to Amazon and you can actually buy the capsicum oil on Amazon. But you know me, I'm going to make it myself. I don't see why I need to buy this on Amazon when I can make it myself. So I grabbed some uh, pepper seeds that I had dried already. And I also put some chili seeds. Okay. I also put my black mustard seeds. And this is the one that you guys always have a lot of problem finding. And I already told you. Black mustard is an ingredient that is used a lot in Indian cuisine. So you're probably going to find black mustard in an Indian supermarket. Okay. Uh, if you cannot find the black mustard, then use any mustard. But I prefer to use the black mustard for my recipe. Okay. Uh, and the last but, last but not least, pepper. Like the pepper seeds, the pepper little pellets. Okay. I mix all that in my mortar. I grind it all together. I may even put pictures in here because I still have the video. I grind it all together. And to that, we added castor oil. Again, castor oil is very, very, very thick. So it almost feels like honey because it's so very thick. Okay, guys? Simple, right? Castor oil. We get the chili pa chili seeds or in any pepper seeds, black mustard seeds or any mustard you find. And you can find mustard seeds in the supermarket and the pepper pellets. Okay. That's what we need. Easy. All right. That's the hardest part of this spell. So what are we going to do? Please be careful when you're doing this because I'm going to tell... I'm going to tell you this. I don't like to leave my candles unattended when I dress them. All right. So that's just me. I don't like to leave candles unattended, period. Think about the person. I have a name in my head right now, and I know this person already got what she needed. Oh, I hated this client so much. I sent so much shit to her house. She humiliated me in such way. I have never been so angry, so angry. I wish I could have just jumped the counter and punched her in the face. And you will say, why Raven? What's up with that? That aggressive man and violently. Listen, there's people that just deserve a punch in their mouth. I'm sorry, but they do. Oh my God. I remember when I had this experience, I called my friend Miranda, which I have talked to you guys about Miranda before. Because Miranda does car readings. And you guys ask me a lot. So Miranda, my friend, she's the one that you want to contact. Let me know if you need her. Uh, so I remember talking to her. She's a medium. It's like, Miranda, look what this bitch did to me today. I am so furious. I am so mad. And we work on this spell. I just want confirmation because I never saw her again. But I wish I had confirmation from that woman. I still have her name in the back of my head. So you know what? I am dressing this candle and I'm doing this to this candle and I'm just thinking about her. Just thinking about her. The same thing you do. You know who you are. You've been emailing me. I have this beautiful lady that's been emailing me at layerofthewitch at yahoo.com uh, and you've been telling me that there's this really evil woman being really nasty to your dad. You know what? This is something that you may want to do. Don't tolerate shit, guys. We have the ways and we have the means to do this, all right? We can protect ourselves in a, in a way. And you know what? Again, we're not sending evil to anybody. We are sending exactly what they did to you. In this case, I'm going to send you, all my little imps are going to go to your house and they're going to terrorize you all night long. Ooh, it's going to be so awesome. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to light our candle. Now, guys, guys, you want to do this outside at nighttime. So go in your backyard if 
you don't have a backyard because you live in an apartment, try to go to a park. It doesn't have to be, if you, if you think that you're going to be too obvious, if you do it at midnight, then just go after dark. All right. Light a candle, go with a friend if you want, light a candle. And you're going to focus in the fire. And you're going to focus in the smoke that you may or may not see when this candle is burning. And you're going to tell this smoke to find this person. And you're going to call upon all the night terrors that you think you can call upon. Hey, maybe you have little imps that are your friends and they do your bidding. Call upon them. There's a lot of trickster uh, elementals out there that work with us. Call them this time. Ask them to do you a favor. So as the smoke is rising, you tell the smoke to find this person. If you remember the name of the person, by all means, if you don't remember the name of the person, just describe her. The lady with the blonde curly hair and blue eyes that called me a thief today. The lady that told me that I was luring her to steal from her. The lady that called me a spick. The lady that called me any terrible racist name. Find her and give her all the nightmares tonight. She won't rest in peace because she's going to be terrorized by all of you guys. You will do my bidding and you will terrorize her all night and she will not be able to do this again. And you're going to transmit all your feelings to this scandal into the smoke that is leaving. And with the smoke that is just wisping away, your imps are just traveling with it. And they're going to find her home. And they're going to find her room tonight. And her night, his night, is going to be filled with the worst terrors ever in his or her life. Tell me that was bad. I don't think that was bad. You have no right to disrespect people. That's the bottom line. The golden rule. You treat people as you want people to treat you. I'm abided by the golden rule. I have no problem doing this for anybody. You mess around with me. Hey, I don't want problems with the law, but I know how to mess with you in a worst possible way you can imagine. Don't let abuse or abusers abuse you. Now, on the same token, I'm warning you. Listen to me. I'm warning you. Curses need to be done for the right reasons. You're just sending back what people has done to you. Do not be doing curses. Do not be cursing people because you're being mean, because you're being evil, because you're being the bully, or because you can. Because you're envious, because you want what they have. Don't do spells and curses for that reason, because they will come back and bite you in the ass. Trust me and my, mark my words, which is you got what it takes to defend yourself and protect yourself. Don't live a life as a doormat. People hurt you, send back. The hurt, they inflict it upon you. You're a witch. You got this. But always do your curses for the right reasons. And make sure you're justifiable. All right? It is always awesome talking to you, which is, I hope you like my video. I really love the spells and I promise you this work. This is so amazing and how simple it is. I love it. I love it. I love it. Email me. 
layerofthewitchyahoo.com, layerofthewitchyahoo.com. And let's see what else. I don't work for people. And until next time, stay wicked pretties. Bye.